Hi everyone, uh, another video. Um, I've got all these homemade papers that I've just made. Um, I've used paint, bright paints as you can see. Um, this is a, like a texture, I used a texture comb on these, just something I found. That was same as that one. Oh, that's it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put bits and pieces all over them to use them so I can make homemade paper. So um, I'll speed it up and don't talk because talking sometimes just craps me. So I, and people don't want to listen to you ramble on sometimes if you're not in the mood. So I will show you and at the end I'll go through a bit of a run through of what I've done. I've got bags and bags of paper and sentiments and all my bits and pieces. So you'll see me as I put it on. Okay. Okay. So I've done the papers um, with all the um, stuff on it. So what happens now is I just wait for them to dry. And when they're dry, I just start ripping pieces off and putting them in my journals or pockets or make tags or make little booklets. So, yeah, so that's just a, a thing that, you know, um, it's really good to do. I love it. So sometimes I colour around here in Tim Holtz crayons or gelatos and stuff. The next thing I want to show you is I've been playing. This is a canvas pad. So now I'll show you. So it's full on um, canvas. 
back and front that you use on a frame but I'm not using it on a frame I'm going to use some magicals and some paint and to show you a little bit what I do okie doke As you can see the canvas now I've painted it I've um, magicaled it Lindy stamp gang magicals and I've inked it with bits and pieces of writing stamps and so you can see it's come up really really well same for this one you can see all the writing and the stamping it's durable so you're not going to break it the backs it's come through on the backs but all depends what you're going to use it for if you're going to fold it over into a book and use it as a journal cover 
fold it down. No problems at all. I don't know actually if you can corner that. Oh, corner it around the edges. I'll give it a. Yep. Look at that. You can corner around to the edges, and they're not broken. Yep. Look at that. So you can use that. You can use it as a journal. You can strengthen it. I mean, that's a really, really nice backing. You got that crunchy sound. Um, this you can seal it, but I don't seal it because it's not going to go anywhere. The same as this one. You've got that nice streak of glitter up there with the magicals. You can use sprays. You can do the same thing. You can bend it. You can turn it over. You can make it into a book. You can. Oh, I don't think you can. Oh yeah. Yeah. Look at that. You can rip it. Rip it like. Um, to, oh yeah look at that as well oh I didn't know that phrase so I will give it another now I can send these as pieces in a swap um, oh look at that beautiful frame oh good oh I didn't realize that hmm. so you can do once again you can even rip it smaller so you can put these pieces on tags you can Oh, I'll give it long ways. Look at that. Whew. Pretty schmick. You can. Oh my god, the endless possibilities. I didn't even think about ripping it before, but I just did then. And that's awesome. Look at that. How that's come up in pieces. And it's gone all Hessian like. So you could put that something on a tag look at that we could fit that fit that on a tag then put a look at that many possibilities you can do with that put that on there or you could use um, the materials that I've been in the video before you today I've been using on tags um, you can use some hessian on it or some of this gauzy stuff that's been coffee stained look at that that's just unbelievable possibilities so yeah and then you've got I've got these which are little linen things of stamped with sayings so you could do something like that but the, it's possibilities that's the whole point of it and you don't know until you do it so that's awesome okay so that's the canvas and I love this look this is my favorite bit this ripped bit this is awesome so that's a canvas what you can do to the canvas and now the same as the papers they've all dry they've all dry so once again we think right well we're going to put some homemade paper in our journal so we use our what do you call this thing uh, bone, folder. bone folder see my memory shot then we give it a rip that's a nice rip that's a proper rip so um, oh that's a rip or we can fold and then rip then we can rip this way so we can put this one in a travel which I have done but I haven't got one here to show you but I'll put them in a traveler's notebook traveler's notebook journal little bits that come up that are not stuck just stick them down little bits like that you just stick them down or even get a bit of the old um, if you want to oh god i hate this stuff i have so many fights with this crap um that's come up a bit so we'll just use a bit of washi tape and stick it down so that um fixes that problem right you can put that actually we'll just go like that and we'll cut this one in half so like this right and then that sticks up like that God, I hate this washi. I need a big washi winder. 
oh, and it gets stuck to your fingers and it's just bane of my intention. Hey? Nah, it's just a stupid washi tape. It never starts off and you use half a roll. Alright, see that bit sticking up? We'll just washi it down and it just gives another new dimension to your paper. But what I was after was this bit. Because, oh, we'll turn it the right way, it would help. There, there's your background for a tag. And then you get what I had before. Oops, I'll get a, a different, oh, I'll get that one. So you can put that on there. Or once again, like me, can't help yourself, just keep adding stuff. And add, and there's your tag. So, there's all kinds of things and dimensions that you can put on them. And these are all from backgrounds and made with backgrounds. Here's a pocket, a made music pocket, which is like an envelope. But you can lay it flat in your journal. And you can punch a hole through the top here and make it into a tag. People can write on the back. And just whack it. There's another one, you can make a tag. Whack it in there, put the ring, and there you've got instant tags um, for people to pull out. Oh, I'll pull these out and write on the back of them. So it's the same with the tag. Put them on the tag. People can write on the back of them. So oh, now I've got tags everywhere. So all these are just awesome. And like I said, you can fold these over and fit them into journals. And if you see that the, um, the tissue paper, because that's a pain too, if you can see the tissue paper's coming up and you just think, oh, well, hang on a minute, I'll just give it a bit of washi. Look at that. Perfect. You want to do a bit of washi over this side? You think, oh, well, hang on, we'll find another one. Oh, that's a lid I was looking for to do paint. Um, this one's got socks on it on a clothesline. I think, oh, yeah, I'll just put this along the edge of that. Yeah, got beautiful washi tape on the edge. So, and once again, you can round corners of these, and that make even if you put that in your journal as a little homemade book or put it in a pocket. So, they all work the same. And I'm sure over the next month or so, you will see all these papers added and canvases added into my journal now on the back of this one this was used with i made this one with um sprays um angel oh what are they called uh diane reevely's some of them and what's that angels one called courtney tatted angels, tatted angels these ones are tatted angels and uh, you can do the same as well with this one um you think that you want to add some more just add a few pieces of decorative washi i mean i've got thousands of washies but it all depends what theme you want just whack a, oh, that's not going to work there whack a bit on here and there there we go we've broken this again oh my god i hate these things i think break these will break me one day and then just add a bit across the top and if it all depends what you're making, art journal, whatever kind of journal, you can turn this, you can um, corner around the tops, corner around the bottoms, both sides. And look at that. That is an absolute stunning journal cover. Look at that inside. Wow. You can use this for like a personal journal, as in an art mixed media journal. Put all your different papers in, sew them in. Um, you can do the same again um, with the, some the stuff inside. Um, here's some more you want to oh decorate. <laughs> okay, yeah, you know what I mean. Decorate the inside. I need to buy me one of those things for sure. Decorate the inside covers. 
put oh, oh yeah. even add bits of these make a journal whatever they're all fantastic covers from making your own and that's you know i love don't get me wrong i love um i love buying pattern paper especially graphic 45 and like it goes without saying tim holtz i absolutely adore tim holtz um but making your own gives you satisfaction i love it i love putting them on tags i love sharing them i love swapping them with my friends i love um creating them with all different paints and inks um yeah so why don't you have a go it's fun um except the washer tape because that just annoys the crap out of me because i can't get the ends but yeah it's good fun have a go so this is what i've done today so what i'll do now is i'll keep all this in this folder here um canvas oh, i can't get over this part i love it love it um, and I'll keep all these in here and when I want homemade, I'll, this will be my to-do folder. So I hope you had fun and I hope I could have given you something that you might want to make yourself. Okay, catch you later. Bye.